Time to conduct an interview in Australian as we're joined by Bearcats punter James Smith. James, last week you had three punts downed inside the 10 yard line. The second time you have done that this year. Your touch amazes me. If I were to say punt at 40 yards or punt at 35 yards or punt at 32 yards, how close could you come? Uh, I like to think I'd be pretty close, probably within a yard or two of each of each of the measurements you just gave. That's sort of what we're priding ourselves on in special teams at the moment because our offense is moving the ball so well. I haven't had to have the longer punts, which is good, and then I can pin teams back inside their own 10-yard line, which just makes it really easy for our defense. I update this stat on the broadcast every week because it amazes me. You've now punted 214 times in your Bearcat career, 84 inside the 20, two touchbacks. That's it in 214 career punts. Do those two touchbacks bother you? A little bit, a little bit, um, <laughs> even though they're probably not not considered my fault. Uh, they still are a little bit my fault, but uh, it is what it is. We're talking to James Smith. You came to the U.S. from Wangaretta, Australia to play college football, obviously, but also to get a world class education. You're a semifinalist for the Campbell Trophy, which is like the Heisman of uh, academics for college football. Has this experience been everything you hoped it would be? hundred um, percent. I couldn't have thought of it, like dreamt it up better myself. Like I've been been lucky with some of the professors and some of the teachers that I've had that have sort of nurtured me along the way and pushed me with my academics, which is why I'm probably succeeding how I am. And then there's the football side as well with Coach Fick and Coach Mason um, believing in me and giving me the opportunity of a lifetime. And um, I sort of taken it with both hands and ran with it and gone as far as I can. You face Houston this week. Their punter is from Perth, Australia, and this is not unusual. It seems like every other week the punter is from Australia. Is there a fraternity among you guys? Pretty much. Uh, if, we, if we know of another Australian or they actually come through the Pro Kick Australia Avenue, we usually get in contact and we're pretty known to each other. We'll, if we haven't met, we'll introduce ourselves before the game, have a bit of a chat, see how things are going, wish them the best of luck sort of thing. It's definitely a... Uh, even though we're on opposing sides, there's definitely a, um, a brotherhood among most Australian punters. James, you are from a family of cherry farmers, and your dad sent me a tweet last Saturday of this year's crop. It shows a cherry bigger than his watch. <laughs> it's a great picture. Tell me a little bit about Smith's fruit. Um, so basically, Smith's fruit sort of started with my great grandfather, I'm a fourth a fourth generation orchardist. Basically, uh, we used to grow a lot of like peaches and nectarines and apricots, but scaled back on that sort of stuff over the last few years and have gone into mainly produ producing cherries. And like we run cherries from November till probably the start of January, and uh, we grow and market around 250 tons ourselves, and then pack others other people's for them as well so that's probably about another 100 to 150 ton depending on the year so there's a fair bit of fruit that goes through our shed for those few months of the year if you are going to continue the tradition it might have to wait after an nfl career based on the way you've punted as that, a bearcat <laughs> that's that's the plan so i'm lucky that dad sort of understood a little bit and said look you can go chase whatever you want to chase with both hands and um, the farm is always going to be here and if that's what you end up wanting to do and coming back it's always here so it's good to have that sort of support congratulations on a phenomenal career and best of luck the rest of this season thank you very much appreciate you having me on